We're rolling, by the way, fellas. Yeah. Good day, YouTube. And welcome to another episode of the Albine Rhino Beer Shield. <laughs> Kenneth and the Rhino are here. We'll be drinking from the Old Credit Brewing Company in Mississauga, Ontario. The Old Credit Amber Ale, which is 5% alcohol. Um, yeah. Well, this looks just like the beer we just had. Oh, yeah. Now, just like the other old credit company beer, uh, this is uh, non-pasteurized and should be refrigerated. Again, we found it on the shelf, so who knows? Mm. I smell the hint of bud. I smell the hint of vomit. It's not horrible. Let's try it. It's one of those chewy beers. I don't mind it. It's bready. I guess that's yeast. It's okay. <sighs> You know that slightly sour taste you're getting on it? Yeah. That's it starting to turn. And that's the taste that uh, the Railway City beers had, but full on. So this hadn't turned fully, but it is turning. Um, from what I can taste on it, I don't mind it. I'm going to try and get it again right from the brewery because, again, this is kind of a sad thing. If your beers aren't pasteurized, if you're not heat pasteurizing, or if you don't have the money to get the right filtration system or the right form of transport such as canning it, don't sell it at the LCBO. Just don't. Because what this does is it makes the customer go out and buy this and go, this fucking brewery shit, how is it open? Uh, and the reason I'm saying that is because the beers I got from Railway City from the brewery were actually good beers. The beers I bought from Railway City at the LCBO made me want to punch them in the head. Uh, now this, same type of thing. What I'm getting, yeah, I like it. It's nice and bready, it's malty. Yeah. And then there's that touch of sour in the background. And I, the only reason I know what that is, is because I drank it full on. Yeah, but this, this is actually, it's pretty good. Even if you're saying it's turned, I, I don't mind it at all. Is there any left for James to try? So this is the flavor that I talk about. Now think about it full on though. It's it's just there in the background, about the middle of your mouth you'll get it. I can smell it. Yeah. Yeah, that's that would have been a great beer. But it's there for sure. So all I'm gonna say is from what I'm getting on this, I actually like it. I'm not gonna read or anything, I'm gonna stop talking. I'm going to post it basically like this, but don't sell your beer to the LCBO if it has to be refrigerated and you're not a big brand. Just don't do it because the only stuff that makes it in those fridges is the macro stuff that pays them so much money to get there. So don't do this. Don't sell this to the LCBO. Please stop. Just stop. Because that would have been a really nice multi. Now, if you want to sell it to the beer store, go ahead, because for the most part, the beer store is going to keep everything refrigerated. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay, I was wondering, cause I, 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 that's a distinction right there, and I wasn't picking up on that. Yeah, if you go to the LCBO, yeah, it's on a shelf. Yeah. But the beer store, the whole place is a refrigerator. Yeah. So thank you, YouTube. Bye. What's with old credit and capitalism and Mississauga? Like, the whole city's founded on that shit, eh? Are you going to see some of the street names in that place? Tell me I'm wrong. Mississauga is shit. It's an industrial wasteland. There's a white cloud. <coughs> we, we, we need to cleanse Mississauga. Like that guy we're watching on the History Channel? Yes. <laughs> <laughs>